Hi friends, welcome. Today is another video in the A Homemade Christmas series, and I'm going to be putting together a um, home decor item for my kitchen. At a flea market, probably a year or so ago, I picked up this old um, flower sifter, and I've just put um, a paper towel down in there. Um, you can see there, because I'm going to be putting some floral foam in there, and I didn't want bits and pieces of that falling through, so that's, you know, it's just to protect, um, you know, underneath. So, um, I have a rolling pin here, and I've had these for a long time. I got them at Goodwill in a bag of four or five of different sizes, and I'm going to use this one today. Then I have just a little bit of uh, fabric that I've ripped some uh, strips from, and I'm going to be using a little bit of that. And then over here, I have some apples that um, I just took off of some floral picks, and I bought these at the after Christmas sales at the dollar store a year or so ago. And I've just taken the apples off. You can see here the apples are kind of shiny. And to tone that shine down a little bit, I covered these with matte Mod Podge. Um, so that's what I've done. What I've done to those. And then these are some apple slices that I dried a couple of months ago. I just sliced the apple and left them on a you know paper towels for several days. And every day I would flip them, you know, over flip them back and forth um, until they dried really well. And then I have some cinnamon sticks here. And I think I got these at the dollar store. And these pieces here um, are made with salt dough. And I don't remember the recipe that I used, but I did add cinnamon to these to, to give them a little bit of a more of a, a rustic looking uh, color there. Um, on the back, they turned out really well. Um, and I put a little bit of Mod Podge on these just to kind of preserve them. And I have these. I made several hearts. And these hearts are made with um, my mom's old vintage cookie cutters. And so... Here is one of the gingerbread men from those that set of cookie cutters that I have. And so um, I'm going to be using that as well. Now some of these for some reason, like these over here, they turned out really dark on the back. I don't know why, but they did. But anyway, um, that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use some jute twine. And then I'm going to use... Just some florals, and I have some more um, over here to the side. I'm going to be using some scissors and some wire cutters as well, and maybe a hot glue gun. We'll just see um, as I put this together. I'm just going to wing it and, and see how it turns out. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to just start by putting this foam, just set it down in there. And then I want to start with, uh, I'm going to have to cut some of these off. I already know that. And just try to, some of these are so hard to cut. And I tell you, I need a better pair of, uh, of wire cutters. But Santa Claus is coming to town, right? So maybe he'll bring me some. Okay, let's see here. Let's take that off. I may have to adjust this a few. No, that looks pretty good. Okay. I just don't want to go through my screen there because I want to keep everything. I don't want this to be permanent because I may want to take this apart and use it for something else at some point. Now, on this little piece of pine, I've just wrapped a piece of um, floral wire. It is the, let's see, let check here. It's the 20 gauge floral wire from Walmart, and this piece was so short, and I just wrapped a piece around here. I'm going to finish this. 
because I don't want to get my finger poked with that. Just mash that down really well. Okay. Now I need to put this in there and just kind of see where I want to cut that. So right there looks good. Straighten this back out and get it put in there. Okay, so there's what we've got so far. By the time I get everything in here, this stuff should stay there pretty well. And let's see. Try one of these floral picks and just see how it looks. Let's try another one. Just try one over here on the other side. Okay. Alright, now let's get some more stuff put in here. stick the gingerbread man in there just like that. Oh, I think that looks so cute already. Okay, now I want to take my cinnamon sticks and I'm going to wrap them. I think I'll just tie them with some of this uh, gingham or uh, their well, it's called Buffalo Check now, I guess. But anyway, let's just tie this together. Just like that. just a little bit more. Okay, let's fix this to where that uh, the front side is showing, if I can. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, now. Actually, I'm going to take a piece of that wire that I just cut off and get a hold of it here. Okay. Now these came off the floral pick, so I'm just going to put this wire right back in there where um, where the piece came, where I you know took it off. And I'm going to cut this down a little bit. off. Alrighty, that looks good. Now I'm going to get another piece. Put that right back in where it came off the floral pick. Now if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of hot glue and I might need to on this one because that kind of seemed just a little bit loose so let's put just a little bit of hot glue on the end right there let's put that in there okay and that should do it okay 
scrubbing now. We have one more. Let's see if this one fits kind of tight. Yeah, I think that one will be all right. Okay, let's cut this one off a little bit. It's better to cut these pieces longer than shorter. Of course, you can always um, you can always shorten, but you can't lengthen necessarily. Um, well, you could always add another piece of wire, I guess. But let's see, where do I want that? Okay. All right. I think that looks good right there. Okay. Now, where do I want this piece? Okay. Let's do this. Now, I'm going to string these, um, I need to turn this just there we go just a little bit okay now I'm going to string these apples um, the apple slices and what I'm doing here is just bringing this to a point right here with this hot glue so that it will go through I've just put a little hole here in the apple and that's that's all I'm doing. I, it just um, helps the string to go through better. Okay, and and of course when I made these, um, I put holes in them here with a coffee stir stick. Okay, let's use this one. And then here is another one. And let's do another heart. Let's see here. I think when I put Mod Podge on these, I, I think I didn't open these little holes up here enough. There we go. Maybe it'll go through now. Still not gonna go through. Okay, let's just keep trying here. Okay. I think this one is just gonna be stubborn. Okay, well, let's go on to this. Let's see, here's one. Let's try this one. Same thing. Okay. Okay, I hope it'll go through this time. This jute is pretty thick. I think I'm going to be able to get this one through. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, let's do one more apple slice, and I think that'll be enough. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with this is just tie it around. And I can arrange these later. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Okay. I'm just going to come back here and I am just going to tie this in a knot. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Now, I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to rearrange everything the way I want it. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and there's what we have. Now, to fill in a little bit here, I 
I am going to get some greenery. And this is just from a floral pick that I had used for something else. I'm going to see if I can just tuck some pieces in here and there. Whoops. Get it turned right side up here. Just like that. And let's see what else we can come up with. Okay, here is a piece. Let's see. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, let's try a piece of um, a pine. Okay. I'm sure you guys can hear my squeaky chair. I actually need to get another chair. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, now I like that better. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm just going to tuck this right in here. Just like that. And that is going to stay there just fine. Just like that. Okay. So there we have our little um, centerpiece. Or you could, you know, you could use these wherever you wanted them. Uh, you can arrange these however you like. And rearrange just a little bit more. Okay. So there you go. So there's what it looks like. And that is going to go in my kitchen. And then when Christmas is over, um, I can decorate this up. Or, you know, just use it as is. Or whatever. So anyway, that is just a little um, homemade decor piece. Didn't take much to put it together. And so that's what this series is all about, just uh, really using, you know, what you already have and just seeing what you can come up with, um, you know, with things that you have laying around the house that uh, you may not be using. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would surely like to have you as a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, hit that little bell and it will notify you of any new videos I post. So until next time, you guys be blessed and happy trails.